we have the final roster prediction we're not going over this roster anymore after today's video because we are going to be covering complete roster prediction by the time this game comes out and even by the end of the you know the video i don't think everyone's confirmed that i'm speculating but i'll be curious to know what your guys' thoughts are but we have 10 slots left three weeks to go and we just got news that um you know the case is out and on this casing you guys can see well maybe not it says more than 180 characters they finally gave us a confirmation on the roster size and remember there's a lot of you guys that have been saying you know they never stated 164 and they finally give us that statement so it's cool to know that now that we have the confirmation of the dlc being 20 plus characters this game by year one will have a 200 plus character roster and just knowing that alone is fucking exciting and happy um to call this game you know a true se sequel we can finally like all of our doubts all of our we still gotta see how the online's gonna work when this game comes out but most of our doubts and um fears might be erased by the time this game comes out i'm excited to throw hands with you guys i have the roster here i downloaded a lot of files so we can try to um fill it up so we can see what the complete roster looks like now i want to start off with going with um i want to state i did have a video going over the leaks that has been dropping um across all of the internet i went over those leaks but i promise you guys i would never show those video clips again i'm going to bring up my predictions if you guys seen the video but i'm going to only use the images so if you guys still don't want to be spoiled because i don't know i've been claiming 164 it was going to be more than that so this is still just speculation but i am going to add icons from characters that should be in this game should be we're going to throw in god of destruction topo all right we have frost final form go ahead and place him right there by the way my um dlc roster prediction will be in this video at the end of it all right kaba base form we're gonna place him right here we're gonna say my boy kaba is getting his super saiyan one form all right then after a super saiyan one i'm gonna say he's getting his super saiyan two just to see it like i just want to look at it as a complete we're gonna throw in og goku og kid goku we're gonna place his little happy ass right here look at all, look at all of goku's friends bro look at all of these friends goku's going to make i feel like after this you can go with, with more og dragon ball but for those who see my previous videos you know why i'm going in this direction for my remaining slots i'm gonna just throw in turles i wish i can play some by goku black but so we can safely assume that we we're gonna get an additional so i have 16 characters so 26 characters um, are left in what they need to show in order to meet the 180 threshold, right? So 26 characters are going to be the ones I'm showing you right now. These are our predictions. I'm gonna throw in Tapion in here. So even though there's 10 slots left, we have the confirmation of 180. I'm gonna be adding 26 characters to this roster. We don't know everyone, so that's the good thing. All right, so we're gonna play Slug right there. If you have Slug, you're gonna need Giant Slug. Giant Slug, bro, Turles. All right, now it's looking, it's looking a little full. So I feel like if they just never had that happen, they would have let us on and then been like, you know, these blue arrows. A lot of people were peeping the blue arrows. I think that's when the trailer would have came out. I'm still going to be hyped for it, you know, but if you guys haven't seen the leaks, just don't, you don't have to look at it. You're eventually going to know within three weeks. So if you can wait longer, you can wait. But hey, if you don't care like me, bro, and it doesn't change your perception on how you want to get the game, it's on there. And then we're going to place, oh yeah, we're going to place Super Janimba. I'm going to place him right by him. I'm just gonna start filling up these corner slots. I'm gonna go ahead and place Harutagon. Now you might wonder, hey, they said over 180 characters and you're just doing 26. That's exactly 180. The reason for that is going to um, help me explain my point and why I don't think, even though the leaks came out, 
I don't think there's everyone on there, you know? I feel like there, if it says 100 and over 180, I feel like there's at most an additional eight more characters. If it was like 196 characters that they have in the game, I feel like they would have said over 190 then, you know? So since it's not over 190, I feel like that's why they stated over 180 characters. But it's still tricky because technically they wouldn't be wrong either way if they did go that high. But marketing, on a marketing standpoint, I don't see them doing that. But we have Super Garlic Jr. And we're going to throw in some Dr. Willow. Yeah, with 26 more slots available, you can easily assure they're going to go in the movie route. Meta Cooler, we're going to throw him in there. Meta Cooler is going to be insane. Remember, just like so juniors, you can just have a whole team of meta coolers. And one thing that I've seen in some recent Dragon Ball Sparking gameplay is that uh, you can, for the first time, have multiple fusions. Uh, so if you wanted, if you wanted Vegito, but you also wanted to play as Goku and Vegeta Z, you can still have Vegito as your character. But I think they make it to where. The fusion is limited to the, the first form, while the character that you selected, say your team is Goku, Vegeta, and then Vegito, that Vegito character is able to transform, but the, the Vegito you get from fusing Goku and Vegeta would be locked at base to like balance, you know, balance it out. I thought that was cool. So yeah, if you don't know, we have, if we have Cooler in there and Meta Cooler, we got to put in Cooler Final Form. Just so you can see the picture, the positioning of these characters don't even matter anyway. Final form cooler, bro. Do you guys know how many Frieza race characters we have? Oh, so I instantly just selected Brawly Super Saiyan. All right, so yeah, we're gonna place in all of Brawly's forms, starting with base to Super Saiyan to legendary Super Saiyan. That would give us three, technically four legendary Saiyans in this game. Well, technically five, you know, if you can, if you consider the Bardock movie when he was like transforming, look at this roster, like just look how big it's getting. The last time you seen something like this was on Naruto Storm or a, Mo uh, a Mugen, if you guys play any Mugens. I don't know what number of characters we're at, but trust me, by the time I'm done with dropping all of these characters in, we're going to be at a plus 26 since the release of um, the last GT trailer. So we're gonna have Bojack chilling there, and if we have Bojack, you're going to need his full power. Form. If we have room for all of these characters, I feel like story-wise, they might be lackluster. I feel like they probably want us to be the ones in charge of the what-ifs. If you play Tenkaichi 3, you know how we had that what-if saga? I feel like they want to give us that power if they're giving us all of these. I can't understand how any fighting games after this game drops can hit us with like a 20 plus drop. Honestly, that's why I feel like Mortal Kombat is adding so many. I never seen so many characters going to be in a Mortal Kombat game. Dragon Ball might might ignite something for a couple of these companies. You already know Storm 5 is going to try a one up Spark and Zero. And all Spark and Zero got to do is just slap a two. Now we started at zero. Just slap a one on the next game title and we chilling. So I threw in Android 13 and Super 13. <laughs> Frieza Soldier. And then with this, we have Gogeta Z. Honestly, if Broly Z is uh, going to make it, I think Gogeta Z is going to make it. Usually, all of these characters that had a super iteration in their name title has been met with uh, the Z variant for sure. So I'm not doubting that Gogeta Z, they wear different clothes, they can be different characters. So I added, let's see, 10 in the original roster. 11 12 13 9 10 11 12 13 14 15 16 there we go that makes 180 characters right here right but now you wonder they said more than 180 characters and that makes perfect sense because there's some characters that are in here that are missing like the rest of themselves like kid goku there's no way we're just getting Kid Goku without getting his respective villains. So, Demon King Piccolo could be still in the game. 
uh general tao cyborg tao kid goku great ape uh great ape turles great ape nappa great ape raditz great ape gohan great ape bardock king vegeta zongya and king vegeta great ape right those can all still be candidates for that more than 180 character statement we are at 180 so there are more than you know than what we're seeing but the fact that since it's not more than 190 i feel like they would use that for their marketing if it went exceeding 190 so let's say at bare maximum eight more characters right you know if it was 189 that would be bullshit. but let's just say it's 180 something so eight more characters out of the ones i just stated for you guys i'm thinking demon king piccolo for sure is going to be on here okay we're gonna play as demon king piccolo right there you know general Tao would you know at least cover all of dragon ball og that would be satisfied just getting those three characters i'll be okay i also feel like they're going to be respective to um the great ape transformations usually that might take up the last remaining slots my only concern though with great apes is that they don't want players to feel like they're locked in certain stages with those characters but nah i don't forget that concern bro like they're going to have this game be true to the series and that was true you needed a night stage if you wanted to you know go great ape okay yeah raditz great ape it'll be how raditz you already know we're getting your boy napa Nappa is every character in this game just has weight to it. So yeah, this is our full completed roster prediction with those final characters getting us to at least 180. But since they said more than 180, we predicted 188. So we got the great apes. We almost we technically have everyone here, bro. Now you guys might have clicked on this video because I also stated the DLC predictions would be in this. I already did the DLC predictions in my first video. I'm honestly not changing what I thought. I mean, I could talk over some new points. Shout out to um, Geek Them on these points. But before I do that, let me just go over to the video. I kind of went crazy now that I'm looking back at it. But I honestly feel since they said 20 plus DLC um roster characters or since they said 20 plus dlc characters i feel like it has to be 20 something as well so i am shooting for like 27 ish you know but we do have goku daima here i don't think well if you guys know then you know but i feel like we'll be getting the super saiyan one form um once the dlc comes out and then i also feel like we might get his new form. I don't know what new form Daima will show us, but I feel like that might be in the DLC. Um, same thing with uh, Daima Goku. I'm using Kid Vegeta as a reference, but I feel like we're also going to get him, like, you know, Daima Vegeta or Vegeta Mini, as they are calling it, as well as his Super Saiyan one form. From Geekdom, I, apparently there's rumors of kid vegeta or vegeta daima getting a super saiyan 3 form so that's four characters no one yeah so five characters right because you have base then super saiyan then if he gets a, a new form as well as goku so that's five characters from the dlc for the sixth character i'm guessing so i'm thinking they're going to give us videl super since we have her we have her old form too so it'll be cool to kind of see like the improvements um for the next character i feel like we could get baby pan sorry baby pan i think i have her somewhere right here yeah i feel like we can get baby pan for sure and then as you guys can see uh piccolo awakening so i feel like he's so look this is regular piccolo i don't know if we're gonna get this form and then he turns into this i'm wondering if they're gonna give us his giant form it will be cool because it makes sense to fight cell max because i don't think cell max is going to be a small character i feel like he's also going to have a giant form so these three i feel or these five right here i feel are for sure going to make it i don't know if they're going to give us a base piccolo and then this one and then this one and then this one that would be sick that would be sick but um never say never so those are safe 
uh moving over to the left hand side we have goku or gohan super right our superheroes i feel like we're gonna get his base form his super saiyan form the ultimate gohan form and then beast i don't know it'll be cool to transform into all of these leading up to beast form but i feel like this is how they're going to handle it with gohan superheroes and then if we scroll up of course we're getting gamma one and gamma two and then the final one that i didn't really show you guys was i think we're getting goten teen or goten superheroes and if we're getting goten we're going to get trunks superheroes and the reason why i don't think they'll get their transformation state is because i feel like if you see gotenks in the superhero movies he's never a super saiyan he's always this failed version of their fusion because they're just they just lacked off i don't know why so i feel like that's why they're not going to really give us their super saiyan forms because it would make sense if they were to do fusion they would only turn into this one you know so those are my dlc predictions now there are a lot of remaining slots on that 20 plus left that i didn't go over and it's because it's really not confirmed yet but this is all information brought to me by geekdom um he didn't bring it to me but I, I checked out his video they are leaking some good dragon ball daima content for how the show is running if you guys don't want to hear it that's the end of the video uh let me know your guys' predictions on how uh, let me know your guys' thoughts, though, on how, like, you guys like how big this roster is. But, moving forward, you know, this could be spoiler alerts for a lot of you guys. And this is, this is all from Geekdom, so credit to him. We know that the Demon Realm now has, you know, Demon Realm Dragon Balls. And these Demon Realm Dragon Balls were created by a Namekian that is in the demon realm his name is nage or nega something like that he uh he created these dragon balls and if you look at the daima trailer um there's these henchmen that they that they kind of showcased us right i was like that's not dragon ball what the fuck so let me mute it uh where's the henchmen's yeah, now that they show us the trailer, I feel like uh, the bootlegged Mira and Toa, I'm not going to call them bootlegged, but the a canon version of these lookalike characters are going to be part of that DLC. We're going to get uh, Supreme Kai Daima probably as DLC. Then you have Piccolo Daima, I feel like would also get a small form. These people right here, these characters, I feel like um will be playable there might be seven of them right because there's the dragon balls in the demon realm i think each of these own a dragon ball i don't know if yeah it just these are their eyes i thought their eyes were the glowing dragon balls but nah these are what these things are okay he's covering his but there has to be seven of them unless there's dragon ball sets that you don't need all seven you just need like a few right i don't know but yeah, we're gonna probably get these henchmen in there. Maybe, maybe not all of them. Uh, I did still wanna use this trailer though, because the thing that you guys are hearing speaking, this this summoning is the, the demon realm Namekian. And it would make sense that Namekians come from the demon realm, right? Because you look at Demon King Piccolo. Now, this guy, right? probably like the one that wants to be the new demon king i don't know if he's going to be playable but there is a there's apparently an evil form of um baba right the witch baba in this demon realm there's also a uh, mr popo now mr popo is wearing a turban the reason he's been wearing this turban is because underneath it he's wearing this turban because he has a horn under his head and um there's going to be like a demon form of Mr. Popo, a demon Mr. Popo, or just a Mr. Popo in the demon realm with two horns, and he wear and he has blue skin, and I think you guys seen it right here. I think when they went to, yeah, they censored him in a Dragon Ball show and they made him blue instead of black, probably for racism. I don't know, but the one in the demon realm is blue as well. I if you guys want to check out the images, I don't want to. You know, well, Geekdom did copyright or place his watermark on it, so we can pull it up if you guys want to see it. But this chick is doing research 
And what Geekdom said is that she is doing research with the Cybermen seeds, right? She's trying to bring back Bobbity's prophecy. Like she wants to bring and create a new Majin. I don't know if she's trying to surpass him. I don't know what her, her motive is, but she is trying to revive the Majin. She's trying to create her own Majin Buu. And she does it. She creates two of them. And they're not pink, they're actually yellow. And one of them's called Majin Du, and one of them's called Majin Ku. One of them's a little chunky, the other one has like a Cyberman lookalike. I, I do want like you guys to check out his channel to see this because I don't want to take his credit. But he did place watermark, so we could. We could do it. Now they're not going to officially look like this. They might look different when they're officially out, but their concept is very similar. Like this is um these are the these are these are the these are the new boos. We're getting two new boos or two new Majins. Um This is the Neba. I said Nega, bruh. We have Neba, right? As the demon Namekian. And then the thing is they also stated that their demon realm, Dragon Ball, their Shinron looks like Purunga, but he has the color of the GT dragon. So Daima for sure can be some type of canon reboot to make Super Saiyan 4 canon. That could be the Super Saiyan transformation that Goku Daima is going to get that we don't know yet. And they could be tying it to make Super Saiyan 4 a demonic technique and Ultra Instinct an angelic technique. So it's weird how they're trying to like, you see how they're trying to like incorporate it and make it canon. But then it's also weird because, you know, Demon King Piccolo was the Demon King and Goku killed them. Then Dabura was the next Demon King that we know of. Then Goku killed them. So it's like they could be the Demon Realm could be harboring some some sort of hate towards Goku that's causing this to happen to him. And we're going to learn more and more about this as we watch the show releasing on October 11th. When I was telling my friend about this, he pointed he helped me really like he pointed this out. They're called Majin Ku and Majin Du. And which one do we know of? Majin Buu. So we have Majin Buu, Majin Du, and Majin Ku. Budu Ku, Budokai. Budokai Tenkaichi, like bro, what does Budokai even mean? Budokai is a Japanese word that translation to association of those who walk the martial path. It is written as three kanji characters. Bu means military or martial. Du means a way or path with the connotation of a spiritual journey. And Kai means a society or, uh, or association. Majin Ku, yeah. So a society reference. The Cybermen are in a giant, you know, a giant population. Like they just, they're populated. So it would make sense like what if he fights with multiple characters like shadow clones or multiple side i don't know i'm just speculating do would be like the spiritual one that i don't know he might know hella magic and some shit while majin boo would be what we've seen here the military or marshal like that's why we were throwing hands with him that's why in oob you know oob can throw hands because majin boo would be the fighter while do might be the magic one and kai might be the one that uses i don't know that's just a, a crazy like it's like a crazy coincidence that Budokai and Majin Bu, Majin Du and Majin Ku can also be pronounced like that. But that's it. That's all I want to state it for my DLC predictions. Let me know your guys' thoughts and predictions. Thank you guys. Um, I'll see you guys in the next video or live stream. Let me know if you think the roster is actually going to be bigger than what they're telling us. It's even like as I'm making this video, I'm hearing that the leak was intentional. So like at this point, we just got to wait and they're because they're they're going to not miss no matter what. But I'll see you guys next time. Be safe. Keep up the grind and peace. Okay. No help, nigga. I'm straight. I'm straight. Where it at? Where it at?